it seems that the controversy with Stellar Blade never ends. In fact, it's just getting started. This week, we got news that Grums, aka Mark Kern, has had a bounty put on his head by Twitch streamer Denims. But why exactly is this streamer threatening Grums? And what are the cops doing about it? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the cesspool that is modern gaming. Originally announced five years ago, Stellar Blade entered production in 2019, pretty much at the height of Woke Stupid. Fans were absolutely buzzing over this game. Finally, they thought, a female protagonist with attractive features and cleavage. But then the final game came out with a few patches that has nerds raging all over the internet. Essentially, what happened was that the studio shift up, patched the game to be a little more conservative with the wardrobe for the main character Eve. This sent gamers, mostly male, over the edge. So when Stellar Blade came out with a patch that covered up its female protagonist, gamers were rightly pissed off. I mean, having a scantily clad female protagonist just adds to the excitement of playing the game. After all, we play games to escape reality. And the reality is that most gamers can't ever even fathom of scoring with a hot chick like Stellar Blade's Eve. But the fun lies in the fantasy, the hope. But then along came a guy on Twitter by the name of Grums, aka Mark Kern, and decided to fight back. Kern started an online petition on Change.org in order to bring back the original character outfits as they were shown in trailers. Some weirdo Twitch streamer then put a bounty on his head and now raised the amount. Inciting violence of any kind is completely unacceptable. You should be able to resolve your differences through arguing and debating like we do on YouTube. But some people are so far gone that they resort to these kinds of abhorrent acts. Just because you have an opinion about a video game doesn't mean your life needs to be cut short. Kern and many online agree. And that's why it's now reported by the website That Dark Place that the FBI are now involved. Yeah, it turns out that taking a hit out on someone will rattle the cop cage. And believe me when I tell you, this won't be pretty for Denims. Once the FBI gets involved, things will move pretty quickly and Denims seems to have booked herself a one-way ticket to Pound Town in prison. We're not going to White Collar Resort Prison. No, no, no. We're going to Federal Pound Me in the Ass Prison. The one thing that's confusing me along with everyone else online is why Twitch still hasn't banned Denims. All these social media platforms claim that they don't stand for violence, but it seems that Twitch is turning a blind eye on every very serious crime. You can't just make such a massive threat like that and not expect some insult to take matters into his own hands. According to the website Metro UK, YouTuber Grums posted a video he had done about Stellar Blades Eve and her uncensored outfits on Twitter with the now banned Toneman threatening his life by saying 20k to anyone that makes this dipshit disappear. Twitch streamer Denims then reacted to the quote by saying, listen, I'll up the number, okay? 30k to anyone who'd make this dipshit disappear and make Eve's breast bigger. It's unclear whether any part of this interaction was sarcastic or humorous or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Threats and incitement of violence is not protected under the First Amendment. And speaking of the First Amendment, a lot of gamers are complaining about the studio shift up, allegedly censoring the game. But is it really censorship? Let's take a look. Did the studio change the game? Yes, that's not up for debate. They covered up Eve's breasts, quite possibly to get a better rating by the ESRB so they could market their game to younger audiences. They also may have done it in order to curry favor with the overlords over at BlackRock and their cult of DEI. And given what's been going on in the film industry, this seems to be the most likely explanation. That's why people are pissed. Everyone is sick of the woke mind virus and wants to return to sanity. Return to a time where freedom of thought and freedom of expression were cherished human rights. So where does this leave Stellar Blade? My guess is that the studio may eventually cave and release a patch to return the cleavage. Sony isn't as stupid as Disney has been, and everyone can see the writing on the wall. Woke is on the wrong side of history. It's going, going, and almost gone. The studios with games currently in development will also likely shift away. 
but the game's close enough to release, well, yeah, we'll be getting more of this garbage coming our way in the next few years. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you agree with Grums and his petition to change the game back? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.